Hi Keys Mods fans, David Fine here. Today we are going through some of the skipper butterflies in the state of Florida. Guys, we have 172 species of, of butterflies in our state. And I, I think there's a few states that have more species, but Florida has a rich, rich population of butterflies. Uh, can be difficult to find because of how populated our state is with people. And a lot of the habitat for a lot of these species has been diminished. But the goal of this uh, playlist, this series, is to kind of go through one by one kind of our experience, how to find uh, the butterflies of Florida, including the Florida Keys. Guys, we have 100 butterfly species in the Florida Keys alone. That's cool. Now, today we're here, we are going to talk about the Salt Marsh Skipper, Panaquinius Panaquin. Guys, it's a, it's a small brown skipper. We've got a whole bunch of different skippers in Florida, and we're gonna show you how to tell them apart and some nuances about them, what the habitat is, and how to find them. Guys, check out the video. Like my coffee cup? Yeah, it has butterflies on it. Imagine that. All right, guys, this box of butterflies, if you look at this box of butterflies, you would say, you might say, oh my goodness, Dave, why do you have 200 of the same kind of butterfly? Well, here's the deal. Brown skippers are so similar. There's not one species of butterfly in this box. There's probably 35 species of butterflies in this one box. And I just have a few of each just so we can help tell the difference. And today we're focusing on Panaquinius Panaquin, the salt marsh skipper. And what we're going to do is we are going to show you that how to tell them apart from the other Panaquin Panaquinius species. We've got three Panaquinius species that breed in the state of Florida. This one right here is Panaquinius Panaquin, the salt marsh skipper. Okay. Now over here, is Panaquinius panaquinoides. Also lives in the salt marsh, lives in the same area, same habitats, but there's some subtle differences. And then finally, a little bit more widespread and common is Panaquinius ocola, uh, the ocola skipper. And we're gonna show you all three, and we're gonna show you how to tell them apart, and we're gonna tell a little bit about the biology of the salt marsh skipper. Okay, let's go over the identification of Panaquinius panaquin and some of its similar species. I've, I've separated them out into this box so we can more easily see them. Now, the Panaquinius panaquin, the females are, have slightly larger white spots on the forewing, okay? Light, lighter spots and larger spots. The males, have more of an olive colored spot on the forewing. So there's difference number one. Now, the problem is these species do not land with their wings open very often. So they might kind of fold their wings and kind of slightly open their little forewings to get some sun sometimes early in the morning. But most of the time, when these guys land, they land with their wings shut and you see them on a flower or sitting on a blade of grass or something like that. So difficult to tell apart, difficult to sex in the field. Um, when, if you open the wings, you can tell the difference a little bit easier. Females have a slightly broader wing than the males do. If you can see it, the, the hind wing pops out a little bit more on the female on the right than the males do. That's a difference that most skippers have because the female's body is full of all these eggs and it's got extra weight. So they need a little bit extra wing area to help them fly easily with all the added weight with the eggs that are in their abdomen. So let me see if I can flip these guys over and show you the underside. Okay, when they land in the field, what you're typically gonna be looking at, you're typically gonna be looking at the underside. So Panaquinius Panaquin, have this golden venation, okay? And that's a pretty cool uh, differentiation between that and some of its other close relatives. And they have on their hind wing, this really conspicuous uh, 
light colored, like cream colored little streak here and then a couple little dots. All right, so that's the best way to tell them apart. They have really elongated forewings, which separates them out from a lot of these other skippers. A lot of these other skippers don't have the elongated forewing. They have kind of like a short stubby forewing. But Panaquinius species, actually the whole group, have elongated forewings, and that is one of the best ways to tell them apart. Now on the underside, it's not that easy to tell the boys and the girls apart, right? So they have, they're very, very similar. There's some subtle differences, but it's not easy to tell the boys and the girls apart in the field. Girls tend to be a little larger, like I said, um, but very difficult to differentiate. Now, let me move over to the different Panaquinius species that live in Florida. This is Panaquinius panaquinoides okay and as you can see panaquinius panaquinoides they live in the same habitat so you can find both of them in the same place but they lack that gold venation on the hind wings and so when they land on a flower or something like that this guy's a little bit darker looking he doesn't have the gold venation they do have the little white spots but that big golden streak they don't have. So that's what separates out the salt marsh skipper from its close, close relative Panaquinius panaquinoides on the underside. Uh, Panaquinius ocola uh, is a much more widespread butterfly. It doesn't live on the coast. It lives, you know, inland. But as you can see, it's a little bit larger. So it's, it's not as common to confuse ocola with these ones. But I wanted to show it to you nonetheless, just so that you could see. And it does have some of the golden venation on the underside, uh, but it's not pronounced like it is on Panaquinius Panaquina. Okay, now real quick, let me flip these guys over. We're back on the dorsal side, All right? Now we have our Panaquinius Panaquina. And we have like this golden kind of olive color on the male, which is pretty cool. Now, when we look over at the other one, Panaquinius panaquinoides, here's the male. The male in this species does not have any spots. So if you look at them close to each other, Panaquino Panaquina has the spots, Panaquinoides, no spots, right? Panaquina has a little bit longer of a, a forewing, and they might be a little bit larger, okay? And so that's the difference on the male. Very, very tough to tell apart. Now the females, let me just move these over. Females are, <laughs> that's tough. I, I mean, if you're gonna, if you see these two in the field, that's gonna be very, very difficult to tell apart. Like I said, Panaquina has a little bit more of an elongated forewing. Um, they're a little bit easier to tell apart on the underside, but the upside's very, very similar. You just have to know how many spots. There might be a little bit, one one or two more spots on Panaquina. Panaquinoides lacks one of those spots, all right? Um, now, Ocola, upside, let's, let's put them next to each other just so we can see the whole group. Again, a little bit, Ocola is a little bit larger, and they've got a, a little bit of a larger spot here on the forewing. And that is pretty, it's actually a pretty common butterfly, pretty widespread. Um, but you're not going to, probably not going to confuse these in the field if you've taken the time to do your research. The salt marsh skipper, guys, it, you know, it is, like I said, brown skipper, and there's a bunch of them in South Florida. But we're going to, we're going to tell you a little bit how to find them. They live in salt marshes. They live on the coast. So I, like it, where we find them, uh, I found them in, actually, in the, I found them in the Florida Keys and pretty much all of the, all of the land mass in the Florida Keys is coastal. So we have all these little salt marsh type areas and Panaquina, Panaquinius Panaquina can be found there, all right? Now, Panaquinoides is more abundant in the Florida Keys. So we actually find Panaquinoides more in the Florida Keys than we do Panaquina. Sorry for the similar names. I, I didn't, I'm not the one that named it. I'm just 
I didn't write it, I just recite it. So um, Panaquina, Panaquina, the one we're focusing on today, uh, the best place I have know of in Florida to commonly see this butterfly is in a little town on the on, in Levy County in the north northwest Florida called Yankee Town. There's a boat ramp off of Route 40 uh, that goes out into the Gulf. And if you're, you're fishing for redfish or sea trout, it's a great place to go fishing. But on the way there, you can stop on the roadside and look for these little skippers. You know, we go in the springtime. There's several broods in Florida. You know, we have a brood in the spring that starts in late April. I'm sorry, late March and goes in through April and May. And then we they fly again in the summer and probably again in the fall. So there's probably at least three broods in the state of Florida. The larval host plant, Distichulus spicata, the seashore saltgrass, lives only in like mangrovey, marshy, you know, brackish water salt marshes. So that's that's where you're going to find this butterfly. If you're a half mile in from the coast, you're not going to find this butterfly because it sticks to its habitat. But in its habitat, if you find these salt marshy Everglades kind of looking areas where there's a lot of sedges and grasses on the side of the road by where there's a, where it's a very wet and lots of water, you might find this butterfly abundantly. You might find a population. You know, let me know if you find Panaquinius Panaquina in a salt marsh area, and I would love to see your pictures. All right. Uh, the adults love, love, love flowers. And, you know, I like to find them in the springtime when the white sweet clover is blooming. They absolutely love white sweet clover or yellow sweet clover. You know, they love Bidens. They love little daisies, little uh, little uh, composite flowers on the side of the road. I found them on uh, Bacopa. I found them on, on Creeping Charlie, the carpet flower. You know, all these little white flowers that grow on the side of the road, these guys love and can very easily be found on those flowers. They, they are not a rare butterfly. They have no uh, need for protection at this time. Uh, so they are very secure globally in their population. And like I said, they can be found on coastal habitats all the way, the, almost the entire eastern coast of the United States from New York all the way down the eastern seaboard of Florida, the Florida Keys, all the way up the west coast and all the way over into Texas. So huge range, but just a very, very specific habitat in the wetlands. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, salt marsh skipper, it's it's one of those little butterflies that just people may not appreciate because it's a small brown skipper. But once you start to understand the biology of these creatures and the differences and the, the little nuances, you start to gain an appreciation for each individual species. And that's what I love about the skipper group. So um, I hope you would join me in that pursuit of furthering our knowledge of the butterflies and moths in South Florida and, and Florida, Florida Keys. Uh, but guys, make sure you check out our website, it's keysmoths.com. And we've got over 100 butterfly species from the Florida Keys listed there for you and photographed and our experience and all the rest. And um, 600 moth species. So that's pretty cool. 600 moths that we found just in the Florida Keys and uh, they're all photographed there for you. So guys, check out the website. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications because um, we are putting out videos on these butterflies and on these moths and we're going on adventures. And we would love to, for you to come along on these adventures with us. And if you subscribe and you hit the bell for notifications, whenever we put out a video, you'll get notified. And we would love for you to join us. So guys, Hope you enjoyed, take care. Let's get out there and enjoy the state of Florida. Bye now.